Hey guys, it's Gameplay Horizon here once again, back with another episode of this Eternal Evolution. So we have here the new version update. So this update will be scheduled tomorrow, guys. And uh, let's go to this uh, version details in which uh, we have your new hero that would be Zane, the Educator Destis, and he is a Triple S Atlas Vanguard hero. And uh, we will tackle this after these uh, events, guys, and event optimizations. And uh, so for now, guys, let's proceed to the new events and events optimizations. So we have your limited recruitment for uh, Zane. And uh, we have here also a new limited recruitment, and that would be Barog. And then, we have here a new um, mirror event reformation, in which uh, during the event, you can obtain here some uh, Zane, Chaos Soul Crystal Nucleus, and a uh, Soul Crystal Nucleus of Rice Ceres, and also Crystal Nucleus Dust and Astral Recruitment cards. And next, uh, we have here the Gemutsu event, guys, in which uh, the rewards here are changed to Zane. Soul Crystal Nucleus of Riceras and Mythic uh, Divine Prototype that would be the Impulse of Annihilation. And we have here also the Gathering event in which you can obtain here uh, Sinway Rusted Gears, Diamonds, and Mythic Runes. And next, we have here the Project Development and the rewards here are changed to Zane Copies. Next, that would be the Endless Battle. So uh, during the event, you can earn here some uh, rewards and this might be a new Endless Battle, guys. So let's check it out for tomorrow. And we have here also some uh, game content uh, adjustment and optimizations in which uh, Hell Arena Shop, they added the uh, Kurasha Shards and uh, it can be exchanged uh, with uh, 6,000 Hell name tags. And also we have your Kurasha Soul Crystal Nucleus Shard times 1 in the Hell Arena Shop and that could be exchanged to 40 Blood Soak name tags after the update. So I hope guys this Hell Arena Shop will be selling a total of 60 shards for this Kurasha so that we can purchase this using this uh, Hell name tags. And that would cost you around uh, 6,000 times 60. That would be 360,000 Hell name tags. And for this Kurasha Soul Crystal Nucleus shard, if uh, the shop will be selling 60 of that shard, that would be 40 times 60 and a total of 2,400 of this uh, Blood Soak name tags. And next, guys, this is the hero skill information of uh, Zane. Wow. So, uh, he is an Atlas, a Vanguard, a Triple S uh, hero. And the characteristic of this is that mass control and also counter revival. So, the ultimate skill called Blade of Faith. So, Zane charges towards the enemies dealing uh, damage equal to a percentage of attack prioritizing distant targets within radius and this damage cannot creep. The affected target receives the Fate Mark, and this uh, Fate Mark damage received from Atlas Heroes is increased. And uh, if the target is uh, revived during the Mark duration, then after revival, its max HP is reduced. So I think this is an anti Vasares, anti Riceres, and anti Arcadia, or maybe Samael. And the talent effect of this is that upon activation, instantly resets the Thunder Shroud cooldown. So guys, we have here the Thunder Shroud cooldown. So I think this Thunder Shroud can be enhanced by Taek. So let's test that, guys, after the update. So we have here also the common skill called the Thunder Shroud, in which uh, Zane receives the Thunder Shield. The damage taken is reduced. And also Zane taunts the target within the radius, and targets affected by the taunt effect prioritize Zane as the target. So this taunt effect, guys, is somehow similar to Womigon. And uh, we have here also the talent effect when Thunder Shield ends. If Zane's HP is below 50%, he gains a shield equal to a percentage of max HP. Next, the common skill called the Heavenly Strike. So Zane swings his glaive, dealing damage to targets around him equal to a percentage of attack and also has a chance, depending on Zane's accuracy, to stun the target. So take note, guys, we have here an accuracy. So maybe... Uh, Zane needs an accuracy that would be 150. Okay, let's uh, find it out, guys. And uh, we have here also the talent effect called Extermination. So if there are only two or less targets in the radius of the skill, then the damage is increased or the damage of the skill is increased. My God, maybe this uh, Vanguard, guys, is a must-get hero. And I will get this, guys, for my second Vanguard team because I'm using here a dual Vanguard team. So next, we have here a passive skill called Bravery of Atlas. Wow. So Zane permanently gains attack equal to a percentage of max HP. And maybe Zane, guys, is an HP-based hero. And each time Zane takes damage, he recovers a percentage of max HP. And when allied heroes use ultimate skills with charge effects, Zane gains rage. My god. And next, we have here, guys, the talent effect in which Zane takes less damage from revived enemies 
or targets under invincibility effect. <laughs> this is also an anti-assassin. Hey, God. Also applies to true damage. Okay, this hero is quite exciting, guys. I love this skill. Okay. So I want to see how much is this less damage, guys. And uh, maybe this uh, Vanguard here is uh, quite tanky against those heroes with invincibility effect or revive enemies. And now we will proceed, guys, to this uh, exclusive equipment in which a Blade of Fate enhancement when reaching 100. Okay, I am right. 150 accuracy performs an additional strike dealing damage to nearby enemies and applying a fate mark. So prioritize targets not selected during the first stage of the skill. And if the selected targets are the same, then only half of the damage is dealt. So there should be no redundant targets as much as possible on this uh, skill. And number two at EX10, Thunder Shroud Enhancement. Upon completion of Thunder Shield, restores Rage to the Vanguard allies with the lowest Rage. Wow! Wow! This is quite exciting, guys. I love this skill kit. Wow. And number 3 at EX20, Heavenly Strike Enhancement. When reaching 150 accuracy, it deals additional damage. The result is affected by Extermination Effect. So these are Heavenly Strike Enhancement and Extermination Effect stacks together. And that EX30 Bravery of Atlas Enhancement restores Rage after 2 activation of Ultimate Skill. My god. My goodness. Wow. So guys, now we have here a gift code that would be good luck too. So guys, based on the skills information of this new Vanguard hero, I think this is... A must-get hero, guys. So uh, this is the skill animation of the new Vanguard. Take a look at that. Wow. So guys, uh, anyway, uh, thank you for watching. And I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.